This eagle was not happy. I'm not active on Facebook, but the other day I asked Wes on my son here, I said, Wes, what is this thing? I get friend requests from people. I haven't got a clue who these people are. Some are not even in South Africa. He says, Dad, some guys get measured by how many followers follow them. I said, okay, thank you. Would Jesus have been measured by the followers that he had? Walking on water, hashtag, who needs a boat? Guys, Jesus know who he was. Let us know who we are. Jesus' baptism, the heavens opened, and a voice from God audibly came down and says, This is my beloved Son, and who I am well pleased. Just keep that in mind. The voice of God, This is my beloved Son, and whom I am well pleased. There's a story about an eagle that was captured and put in the Pretoria Zoo. This eagle was not happy. He was sitting there and the guys looked at him. Eventually, there was a petition signed to release this eagle. The zoo decided, let's just give it to this petition and we release this uh, eagle. The eagle's species was uh, more abundant in Pumalanga. So it was quite a big thing. They loaded it in the cage, they went to the truck and they were off, Bucky, off to Pumalanga with quite a following because it was quite a petition that was signed. Cameras rolling, the press was there. They got there, and it was a three, two, one, let's open the cage. And the old eagle just sat there. Eventually, it was a bit embarrassing. The one guy slapped against the side there. Eagle just sat there. So the one guy decided this is not going to work. Get into the cage, and he pulled the eagle out. And the eagle was sitting there in front of the cage, and he just looked at the people. But then, one of his own species flew over and gave a whistle. But this eagle looked up and he started spreading his wings and he took off. Have we heard the voice of our Father? It's not about what you achieve. It's how well you receive the voice of the Father. Have you heard the voice of the Father? Satan takes Jesus after he was, uh, went through his baptism and he takes him into the wilderness. Remember this? God said, this is my beloved son. What does Satan say? He wants to steal, steal that identity from Christ. He says, if you are the son of God, jump off this wall. If you are, that doubt that he always wants to put in. He's after Jesus' identity. If you want to mark a verse in your Bible, mark it with... Mighty Men 2023, 2 Corinthians 6, verse 18. And I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. There's a story about a guy years ago driving his Ford pickup, and the thing started missing and smoking, and eventually he pulled off the road and it wouldn't start again. Cars were passing him by, he tried to start it, no luck. Then the next thing, a big black limousine pulls up and stops behind him. The guy in the back opens the window and he calls the guy and says, what is the problem here? He says, my truck cut out, I can't get it started again. So this guy in the back gets out, takes off his jacket, rolls up his sleeves and he goes and he opens the bonnet and he starts working on this car. Eventually gets it fixed up. Starts it, and he says, off to you. So the owner of the vehicle said, this doesn't make sense to me. Why would a guy in a limousine get out, dirty his hands, and fix my car? So the guy says, apologies, my fault. I didn't introduce myself. I am Henry Ford. I'm the creator of this vehicle. I don't like to see my creation broken down. Our creator does not like to see us broken down. He sent his son to dirty his hands with blood to redeem us.
God, don't be apologetic about being a man. God made you a man. You're men. You're God's men. You're God's sons. You're a God's chosen. You have the same spirit available to you that raised Christ from the dead. That comes from Ephesians 1. You belong to your father. You're loved by your father. You're adopted by your father. You need to be healthy and active. Not just active. Helping to stir the panakuk deer at the bazaar. Get healthy. How do you get healthy? Healthy, drawing back in prayer, listening to the voice of God. Once you've done that, you, then you get active. Then you send, send out, Lord, where do you need me? Where do you need me to make a difference? Where do you need me to make an influence? Where do you make a decision that comes from your side? Guys, politicians are not going to make the difference. The difference is sitting right here in front of us. Let's take up that responsibility. Thank you, guys.